Investing in a certificate of deposit CD, can be a low-risk way to earn interest on your savings. CDs are a type of savings account where you commit to leaving your money untouched for a set period of time, typically ranging from one month to 10 years. The longer the term, the higher the interest rate you can earn. For example, investing $10,000 in a one-year CD with a 5% yield can earn you around $500 in interest when it matures in 12 months. There are many online CD calculators available to help you estimate your potential earnings based on your deposit, rate, and term length. So, in this video, we are going to discuss how much investing $10,000 in a CD can earn you in one year. Now, before we get into this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button and leave a comment below saying I subscribed. I will try my best to reply to as many comments as possible. If you have $10,000 you're comfortable with locking away for a year, a one-year certificate of deposit CD, that earns a competitive yield may be a smart choice. These days, rates on some one-year CDs are higher than what many savings accounts and money market accounts earn. In addition to various one-year CDs offering high yields, another benefit of traditional CDs is you can calculate upfront how much interest the account will have earned by the time it matures, thanks to its fixed rate of return. A one-year CD with a $10,000 opening deposit that earns a yield of 5% would be worth around $10,500 when it matures in 12 months' time. This high-yielding one-year CD would earn you around $332 more in total interest than a CD earning the national average rate. Bankrate's handy CD calculator is a quick way to figure out how much a CD will be worth at maturity, and it simply requires you to input the CD's APY, the term length, and the amount of your opening deposit. National Average One-Year CD Rates The national average annual percentage yield, APY, for a one-year CD is 1.68%, based on Bankrit research, which shows this average has increased or remained the same since March 2022. If you deposited $10,000 into a one-year CD that pays this national average rate of 1.68%, in one year it would be worth a total of around $10,168. Type of account, one-year CD. Opening deposit, $10,000. APUI, 1.68%. Total interest after one year, around $168. Total value of CD after one year, around $10,168. Competitive one-year CD rates. While the national average for one-year CD rates has been increasing, highly competitive rates have also been on the rise. It's relatively easy to shop around and find banks that pay 4% or higher on one-year CDs. In fact, several banks even pay rates of at least 5% on these accounts. Such top-notch yields are up to three times higher than the national average. A one-year CD with a $10,000 opening deposit that earns a yield of 5% would be worth around $10,500 when it matures in 12 months' time. Type of account one-year CD. Opening deposit, $10,000. APY, 5%. Total interest after one year, around $500. Total value of CD after one year, around $10,500. This high-yielding one-year CD would earn you around $332 more in total interest than a CD earning the national average rate. Online banks currently offering top-notch yields on one-year CDs include Limelight Bank, Bread Savings, and Live Oak Bank. One-year CD rates from big banks. While deposit account rates have risen significantly at various online banks, many large brick-and-mortar banks have stuck with their rock-bottom yields. For example, you'll currently earn an APY of 0.01% from Chase on any standard CD term. You'll fare slightly better with one-year CDs from Bank of America and U.S. Bank, which earn 0.03% and 0.05%, respectively. An APY of 0.03% on a one-year CD in which you've deposited $10,000 will earn around $3 in interest by the time the CD matures. 
Type of account, one year CD. Opening deposit, $10,000, APY. 0.03%. Total interest after one year, around $3. Total value of CD after one year, around $10,003. When you put $10,000 into a one-year CD, you'll ultimately earn around $497 more by going with one that earns a highly competitive rate of 5% over one that earns a very low rate of 0.03%. How CD Rates Work CD rates can fluctuate due to a number of factors. For instance, returns on CDs from competitive banks may correlate with treasury yields, the federal funds rate, rates offered by competitors, and whether the bank is in need of deposits. Most CDs pay a fixed rate that remains the same throughout the duration of the term, which can make them a good option in a falling rate environment. If you believe rates will be rising, however, you might not want to lock in your funds at a return that won't be competitive in the near future. A liquid savings account that makes it possible to withdraw the funds anytime may be a better choice in a rising rate environment. Withdrawing funds from most CDs will result in an early withdrawal penalty, which can be costly since you'll lose your interest and maybe even some of your principal. Specialty CDs such as bump-up or step-up CDs allow for rate changes upon request or at select intervals during the CD's term. However, the initial rate for such CDs is likely to be lower than the competitive rates offered on fixed-rate CDs. A Certificate of Deposit CD is a type of savings account that offers a fixed interest rate over a set period of time. Unlike regular savings accounts, the interest rate on a CD does not change over time, which can be a positive if you lock in a high rate, but a negative if you lock in a low rate. The longer the term of the CD, the higher the interest rate typically is. CDs can be used in a variety of ways, such as creating a CD ladder, which involves dividing an investment into several CDs of different term lengths. Some banks also offer promotional CD rates for non-standard terms. CDs can be a low-risk investment option, but they may have penalties for early withdrawal. The minimum deposit for a CD account varies depending on the bank and the type of CD. Generally, CD minimums begin at around $1,000, but some banks offer CDs with no minimum deposit requirements. Some CDs may require a higher minimum deposit, such as jumbo CDs, which generally require at least a $95,000 deposit. It's important to note that different types of CDs may have different minimum deposit requirements, such as no penalty or bump-up CDs. Therefore, it's best to check with the bank to determine the minimum deposit requirement for the specific type of CD you are interested in opening. Money Market Accounts Another possible alternative to a one-year CD is a money market account. Like savings accounts, money market accounts don't require you to lock in your funds for a set amount of time. Unlike CDs and savings accounts, money markets often come with a debit card and check writing privileges. You may need to deposit more money into a money market to earn its top rate, however, whereas many CDs don't have such a tiered structure. A money market account is a type of savings account offered by banks and credit unions that typically pays higher interest rates than traditional savings accounts. Money market accounts may also offer check writing privileges and debit cards, but they are subject to certain restrictions on the number of transactions per month. Money market accounts are a good option for those looking to earn interest on their savings while maintaining liquidity and flexibility. To find the best money market account, it is important to compare rates, fees, and minimum balance requirements. Bottom line One-year CDs can be a good place to keep money you won't need for a year, and they offer rates that are guaranteed and money that's safe, as long as it's within FDIC limits and guidelines. Shopping around at different banks that offer one-year CDs can help you find the best APY. The most competitive rates are often found at online banks, which commonly pay yields exponentially higher than the ones earned from big brick and mortar banks. Let us know your opinion in the comment section below. This was all for today. Hope you liked the video. Subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for more interesting videos. Stay safe, and we will be back soon with another video.